All right, so this is uh, page eight of Algebra 106. And uh, problem eight reads like this. The annual depreciation on a certain property is 450 based on a 4% rate of depreciation. What was the original property value? So obviously, what we wanna find is the original property value and because that's what we're really looking for, that's what we don't know. We don't know what the original property value is. So we're going to call it X. And it's depreciation. So you got to ask yourself, okay, does depreciation, does that sound, if it's going, it's depreciating, it's going down. Does that mean that I'm going to add or subtract? What happens when you add? Do things go up or down? Usually when you add, things go up. What happens when you subtract? Do things go up or down? Usually when you subtract, things go down. So we're probably we're probably going to subtract here. So x, the original property value minus a four percent rate of depreciation. So we're going to change the four percent to a decimal, which is going to be point zero four x, because it's it's the the original property value is depreciating at four percent. Remember, of usually means multiplication. Oh. Okay, I'll use a dot for multiplication. No, I'll write it out. Multiplication. Yeah, of usually means multiplication. So um, we're going to multiply 0.04x minus, we're going to take that away from the original price. So the original price of the property mi minus a 4% rate of depreciation gives us a property value of 450. Okay, so um, we're gonna subtract one X minus 0.04 X. Now, what's a dollar minus four cents? 96 cents. So we get 96 X equals 450. And X is gonna give us Whatever x equals whatever 450 divided by 0.96 is. So 450 divided by 0.96 equals what? 450 divided by 0 0.96. 450 divided by 0 0.96 equals 400. 68.75 so the original property value or the original value of the property was four hundred and sixty eight dollars and seventy five cents that's the value before the four percent rate of depreciation okay here's problem number nine a salesman receives $120 per week as a salary in addition to 4% commission on his sales. If his total pay for one week is $400, what was the amount of a sale uh, for the week? So um, what we know here is that the total pay is $400. So we could write equals... Four hundred dollars, because that's the total pay. Whatever we're gonna do, we know that our total, at the end of the day or at the end of the week, in this case, is gonna be four hundred. So um, the salesman receives part of the four hundred is one hundred and twenty dollars, right? Because it tells us one hundred twenty dollars per week as salary. But in addition to the one hundred and twenty dollars the salesman makes, salesman makes, he gets four percent off of his sales. Do we know what his sales are? No, we don't know what his sales are. So what do you think we're going to write? Since we don't know what his sales are, what, what are we going to write to try to, to, to write this down, to show it algebraically? If we don't know what his sales are, we're going to use a variable, right? We don't know what they are. So we're going to use X. What we do know is that 4% of his sales, 4% of his sales plus $120 gives us $400. That's what we do know. So we're going to write it. X plus 
x plus $120 equals $400. So, um, actually, I wrote that, I wrote that wrong. Erase. Erase. We're not gonna, we don't need an x here. We're just going to write 0 0.04x plus 120 equals $400. Because if I would have rent, if I would have left that x there, that means that we're going to add the amount he sold plus 4% of the amount he sold plus $120 equals 400. That's crazy. No one you work for is going to give you the 100% of what you sold as pro as as salary plus another 4%. Nobody's going to do that. So we know that that was wrong. I'm, I'm crazy. I make mistakes too. I'm human. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay. So uh, 0.04x plus 120 equals 400. Um, well, we need to isolate x, right? We need to get x by itself. So what's keeping x from being by itself? Uh, first of all, this 120 is keeping x from being by itself. So let's get rid of that 120 by subtracting 120. Okay, we subtract 120 from both sides because what we do to one side, we gotta do the other. So 0.04x equals 400 minus 120. Now, if you could figure it out from here, you know, don't wait for me because I'm kind of slow. You know, pause the video and do the problem quickly. That way you can get done with your homework faster. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're not, you know, you've got to use your brain here. If I'm taking too long, you can do it faster. Obviously, don't go at my pace. Pause the video. Work the problem out. If, the, if I already passed the section where you're stuck, you, there's no need for you to watch the whole thing if you've already figured out how to do the problem. Do it on your own. It's a lot faster. Okay. So anyways, I like to take my time because I do this for fun. I enjoy hearing myself talk. You know what I do is I, I record these, then I upload them on YouTube, then I watch them, and you know, the sound of my voice puts me to sleep. I love it. So you don't want to just wait for me to do the problem. It'll take you hours and hours and hours and hours and hours for you to do your homework. So um, whenever you don't understand something, go on YouTube. Find the, the, you know, the book that you need help with, the page you need help with. Once you figured it out, don't keep watching the video. Pause it and go on. Do it on your own. It's a lot faster that way. Okay, so um, what's 400 minus 20? Well, pull out my calculator because I'm lazy. I don't like to do it by hand. And that gives me 280. So 0.04x equals 280. We're going to divide by the coefficient of x to, x by, to get x by itself. In this case, the coefficient of x is 0 0.04. So we're going to divide both sides by 0 0.04. So 280 divided by 0 0.04 equals $7,000. That can't be right. 280. Oh, no, it, it can. Yeah, it can be right. Yeah, he. you know, he sells $7,000. And 4% of $7,000 is commission. He has to work hard. If he wants to make any commission or any money at all, he has to work hard. So, yeah, he's got to sell $7,000 worth of, of, of merchandise for him to get $280. Um, no, I'm lying. Not $280. Uh, what was it? 0 0.04? Yeah, he has to sell $7,000 worth of merchandise to get $280. I mean, $400 total. I mean, 280 Wait, I'm confusing myself. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a lot. Man, that guy works hard. Jeez. Okay, so um, $7,000. That's his sales for the week. $7,000. His sales for the week is $7,000. See, he probably didn't go to college okay so and he probably didn't you know do up to college prep in his ac curriculum all right so learn something here 
Go do, choose college prep. Talk to your supervisor. Tell her, uh, Mrs. Whatever or Mr. Whatever your name is, um, I want you to set me on a college prep track. Okay, if you're a senior and you're still doing Algebra 1, well, it's a little too late for you, buddy. But um, uh, you could still go to community college. Hey, I went to community college. Can you tell? No, I went to community college. I, I couldn't afford go, to go straight to university. So I went to community college. And then I transferred to Biola after community college, graduated Biola, uh, worked at a small Christian school for a while, and then God called me to start uh, my own Christian school. And, uh, and I'm making these videos for my students that have a hard time with algebra. So, um, yeah, this guy has to work hard to make his money. Uh, go to college. Let's work, let's work on problem number 10. All right. So problem number 10. What does it say? At what price must the dealer sell a chair that cost $78 to make a 35% profit on the cost? So, at what price must he sell this chair? Okay, what price? Uh, he wants to make a 35% profit um, on the cost. So, the chair cost him... $78. So X is the price you need to sell it for. We take 35% of X away from X and we're left with the price he bought it for. Okay, I know that sounds kind of confusing, but he bought the chair for $78. Think about it. He bought the chair for $78. We're, we're being asked to figure out how much you need to sell it for to make a 35% profit. We don't know how much you need to sell it for. What we do know is that if we take 35% of what you need to sell it for away from the, the selling price, we get what he bought it for. Still confused? All right, give me a second. Another way we could word it is... Um, a guy bought a chair at 30 35% off the original price. So 35% off the original price is $78. So we don't know the original price, right? You're the guy buying this chair that was marked up, right? So um, you don't, we don't know the original price, but we know if we take 35% take off of the original price, we get the sale price, which is $78. Okay. So... Um, so we get 1x minus 0.35x. Uh, that's, I believe, 65x. 0.65x. See, I could do stuff in my head. I don't always need a calculator. All right. So 0.65x equals 78. Now I need a calculator for that. So 75, 78 uh, divided by 0.65 gives us $120. So x equals $120. So... If he wants to make a 35% profit, he needs to sell that chair at $120. That's an expensive chair. Let's see. Yeah. The price tag on the chair is $120. That's a price tag right there, by the way. And that's a chair, if you haven't noticed. Okay. $120. Um, all right. Uh, I hope that helped. I know it's that this last one's a little confusing. Think about it for a little while. You know, whirl it around in your little brain. And hopefully it'll make sense to you after you put some thought into it. Okay? Okay, goodbye.